Hi, I'm Gary Amoroso, Executive Director of the Minnesota Association of School Administrators. Welcome to another edition of Take 5. Today I want to focus on what is going on at the legislature. We're to the point where we've been in session since the end of February. The legislature must end their session by the third Monday in May and things are truly beginning to heat up. The House and the Senate Education Finance Committees have been given their targets. We're pleased to report that the House Education Finance Committee has a target of 75 million new dollars for the 2014-15 school year. We're more disappointed that the Senate Education Finance target is only 41 million dollars. I want to take a minute to talk to you a little bit about what we know about what is being proposed in each of the two bodies. In the House, the majority of the $75 million is currently being allocated towards an additional 1% of funding that will go on to the per pupil funding formula. This is something that will help everyone in this state, every school district. An additional 1% added to the 1.5% that is already in the statute for next year would give us 2.5% on the formula plus some additional dollars for districts in regards to having the uh, all day kindergarten paid for into having a, a slight reduction across subsidy. So it would truly help us to get that 1%. We're a little bit disappointed that in the Senate, the Education Committee, as I mentioned, has a $41 million target, but the vast majority, about 70% of that $41 million, is currently being targeted for early childhood programs. This would not have any impact on our K-12 programs. While we do feel it's important to continue to provide funding for early childhood and look at increasing it, we believe we're still at a point in time because of what we've experienced over the last decade, we need the additional dollars on the general ed formula. This is important and I'm going to be sending out uh, a request that you should have received today that is going to ask you to call your legislators. We're going to provide you the names of some of the leadership because these are the people we now have to get to. The leader in the House, the leader in the Senate, and the governor and we're hoping that you'll take the time either to call or to email and we'll give you some talking points. Your voice is important. Your voice matters. Now is the time to begin to let our leaders know that we need that additional 1% as is being proposed by the House on the formula. We're probably going to ask you to do this more than once over the course of the next few weeks, but again, it's important that you do it and I want to thank you in advance for the contacts that you're going to make. The other bill I want to update you on is the Safe and Supportive Schools Act. You received an email from me yesterday providing you with an additional update regarding this bill. I believe this bill has come light years from a bill that would have been very challenging for our districts to implement to a bill that I believe now can be implemented by our school districts in a very efficient and effective manner. MASA supports the bill as a result of the amendments that were added to the bill over the course of the last few weeks. This was done as a result of looking at our legislative platform, seeing that the majority of the issues that we brought up in our platform were addressed, consulting with the officers, and then we provided our support. It's important to note that MSBA, that the elementary and secondary principal associations also support this, as well as Ed Minnesota. I'm hoping that you take the time to review the email that you received yesterday, learn a little bit more about the bill, and be in a position to talk with your elected officials about your support for the bill. It's important that MASA speaks with one voice on this issue. We fully recognize that this is not a perfect bill. There is no such thing I'm learning in my time at the Capitol. But it is important to also realize that Senator Dibble and Representative Dabney worked in a collaborative fashion with us and the other ed organizations to make many modifications which now allow us to support the bill. With that, I want to thank you for everything you do on a daily basis for the children in this state. It's an exciting time at the Capitol, it's a challenging time at the Capitol, and please know that we're going to be calling on you over the course of the next weeks to have your voice heard, which will have an impact. If I can be of assistance, please contact me at 651-319-1211. Thank you.